Okay, so today I'm gonna to talk about an application called Scribe How. Now, if you have a team or maybe you have freelancers working for you, or frankly, you have any process that you need to document, you're probably aware this will normally take hours and hours of time of writing, of collecting the screenshots, of maybe doing Loom videos, trying to put it all into one neat place. This tool automates the whole process. So as you are actually doing the process, it will document it all for you using AI. I personally use this with my own team and it is incredibly useful. So in this video, I'm going to show you a number of different things using Scribe. I'm gonna show you, of course, how to create a guide. I'm gonna to talk to you about the difference between guides and pages, which is actually a really key distinction. I'm gonna give you my honest review and feedback of the tool. And then finally, I'm going to talk about whether or not it's worth paying for the pro version of this tool. Okay, so here is Scribe, as you will see on the screen now, and it has some key information about the application and how it works. We've also got pricing, there's free, pro, you know, of course, enterprise. I will talk about this pro package and whether or not it is actually worth paying for. Um, but first off, we will dive in by signing in. I'm gonna show you my own Scribe that I use, just because I think it will give you a really good insight into exactly how to use it, how to structure so this is my own scribe and then on top of this I'm actually going to guide you through the process of creating your own scribe okay so first things first of course you want to know how to actually capture a scribe so it's really simple what you'll do is click on new here so you can click on there and then you want to click on capture a scribe and then you can open it in a new tab so let's imagine that we wanted to teach someone how to go and post on Twitter really easy to show we just type in Twitter, it's tracking all of this, and then we wanna teach them, you click on post, and then we'll say, you know, writing a tweet. And then maybe we wanna show them how to save it as a draft, so we click on drafts, click on save, and that is then going to save all of that for us in that workflow. Now, let's imagine that's enough, that's all we wanted to teach them. Uh, then you go down and there's this little show controls on here, and then all you would do is click complete capture, and that is the scribe captured. It's gonna create now a document that has all of the details of the process I just did. Of course, this process can be you know, as long as you want it to be. I have processes with 56, 57, you know, however many steps. You can see this one is just eight steps. But here's what it's created for us. So, you know, navigate to, click here, and it even shows where they would need to click. Um, it then says, you know, click in here and you can write something. It showed what I wrote, type in a tweet, click on drafts. And again, it's taken screenshots, it's put it all within this guide. So it's so easy to share this with someone and get them to understand what they need to do. On top of this, the reason this works so well is because you, when you're delegating, it can often take a lot of time. But with this, you can actually just go and do the task that you would normally do yourself, document it, and then share it with someone. So it makes delegation so much easier. Um, and then you can edit this from within here. So, you know, this last step we don't really need. We can delete that. Um, you can change, you know, the writings, so we might put click on drafts instead, really easy. And then at the end, you would just click done editing. You can see with the AI, it's already created, you know, what this is about. It's even added the Twitter logo. It's really quick and simple um, to go ahead and create that. And you can see I'm actually one of the top creators on Scribe. That's how much um, I enjoy using this tool. So the next thing that we would then do um, is you can create two different things. So of course, I've shown you how to create a scribe. Um, it's also important to note that you can do that from the browser, you can do that from the desktop, you can even do it from mobile, but there is a caveat with these other two, you need to have the pro version. And like I said, later on in the video, I'll talk about whether or not I think um, it's worth paying for the pro version or not. And then the final thing you can do is you can actually build a page. So a page will hold multiple guides within one place. So let's say we created a page and perhaps this page is all about Twitter. Let's say it's, you know, um, Twitter marketing and we want to, we can now either go and create 
um, a page with AI. So we can actually feed it some prompts and it will start to build out this page for us. Um, I don't use that feature a huge amount because of course, the guides that I'm creating are very specific. Um, so what I do instead is I click add a scribe and usually these are ones I've already created. So I would type in Twitter, you know, creating and posting a tweet on Twitter. That's the one we just created. And then you go ahead and click on that. And it's then going to add it in here. Um, if you've created it as a private scribe, as you can see here, you'll then need to share it. And then that will mean um, it can be shared with everyone and then it will appear in full in the um, page. Uh, and then there's a few different ways to display the guides within the pages. So you can have it small, medium or large embed. I normally quite like this large embed. Um, and then what you can do is you can write text around this. So, you know, first things first, here is how to write and post a tweet. You, know, you can add whatever else um, you'd like to do in there. You can also post Loom videos in here as well. Sometimes I'll add Loom videos. Um, but yeah, this is a really great place and a really fast way to create guides. So the other cool feature that it has is you have these document sections as well. What I've done personally is I've actually created different uh, documents where I hold certain processes. So, you know, we have the overview of our processes when someone new joins our team and they can come in here and they'll see our company processes overview. Then we have an internal processes document. So we store different internal processes within this one. You can see some of the key things we have to do all the time, like managing time off or paying freelancers, um, things like that. And then we have more for hiring, sales and marketing, project management. So it really helps just to put all of these in different places. And you can also see the difference. So these are individual scribes. So this is just taking people through a task. And then these are pages where of course we've collected a number of different scribes that all relate to one process. So that's the difference. Um, with those. And so finally, I promise to give my honest feedback and review of this tool. Personally, I love this tool. It has saved me so much time and I really can't fault it in any way. You know, for what they charge on a monthly basis, which is $29, um, it has been worth it. Um, it saved us a huge amount of time and it makes delegating so much easier. The final point is whether or not it's worth paying for the pro version of this application that is going to depend on the guides that you create so if everything you create is based in the browser then you wouldn't need to pay for the pro version unless of course you know you start creating a large number um, but I actually pay for the pro version because it allows me to do desktop and mobile apps so we use a lot of apps that are on the desktop and that aren't in the browser and if I didn't pay for it, I wouldn't be able to also document the use of those applications. So highly recommend it. There is a link in the description down below if you'd like to give it a try and you would like to sign up as well as a bunch of other software tools that I use on a daily basis. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a like if it's been helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.